Hey everybody, I'm James this is Outlaw Frax. I want to say thank you for being here again. Stay right there. I'm going to run the intro and we'll get right into it. Hey everybody, I'm James this is Outlaw Frax. Guess what? We're going to do a first impression right now. And I got to say, I am a little bit worried. I just received a wonderful present from my dear, dear friend, George, and this is his brand new fragrance, which is called Signature Rose. Get it out of I gotta say, I love this presentation. He put so much time and effort into the boxes. Even the paper that is wrapped up in is all in, embossed with the Zaharoff name. He actually includes this and everything a handwritten note which is really super nice and I gotta say I take the boxes the boxes are dope but I never talk about the boxes I don't ever talk about the boxes or presentations very often but this is so nice and so well done and such a dear dear friend of mine I wanted to make sure that I did this with you guys so with that being said we if you've been here on the channel much with me for very long you'll know that I am not the biggest fan of a rose note at least I am not a big fan in the way that some fragrances use the note because it comes across to me as like um, the soaps when I was a kid in my grandmother's bathroom it's got that old lady rose to it so I did a review of toy boy with with Monique and I'll leave a card yeah I think the card goes over here if you want to check that out I'm not a fan of toy boy whatsoever I know a lot of people like it I will say that it's a well put together fragrance is just not my jam at all so I'm a little worried with this but at the same token I have all the faith in the world in George and the gentleman that he uses that is the perfumer and for the God's honest truth I cannot remember his name I will put it right here the name of the perfumer so one nice thing about these cards is it gives you the mechanical layout of the bottle but on the back side is the note breaks down of everything so I'm just gonna go through and hopefully read these I know that George has used two different kinds of roses in this. So this is Signature Rose. It's an EDP. Top notes are Turkish Rose, Rose Auto, Bulgarian Rose from the Rose Valley. The heart notes are Amber, Jasmine, Red, Red Pelony, and I have no idea what that is, and I'm not exactly sure that I'm saying it right. So I'm going to put the name, spell it out right here. And then the last thing in the mid notes is a Bulgarian rose again. So the the dry down of the, the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla bean, sugar cane, oud, myrrh, and frankincense. So when I went through this, because this is the first time I've read it, I'm really interested in the way that this is going to smell. I have high hopes that it does not smell like a grandma rose or that it's too feminine. There is a bunch of fragrances out there that have the note of rose in them that I really enjoy, really enjoy like all teams, YSL all team. I really like the way the, the, the note of rose is used in that. So with no more further ado, let's spray this. Give that just a second. Settle down. This is, at the top of this is absolutely wonderful. Off the very top, it's, it's bright. I want to say that there's geranium in here and some saffron, but it is not 
it is not listed anywhere. I can definitely pick up the rose, but the rose in this is not jammy. It's not old ladyish. It's not your grandma rose's soap in 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 the bathroom. This is absolutely done masterfully. Now, if you get this and you think you're going to pick up something and it's going to have some kind of resemblance to Toy Boy, wow, you're a million miles apart. This is this is absolutely wonderful. Now I'm just smelling the top of it. I still haven't gone through. I'd like to see what the whole progression of this fragrance is, but the top is wonderful. And usually that's where you get that real heady rose in a lot of fragrances that I don't care for. I'm a big fan of rose oud combos as long as the rose is a supporting note. I have to say the way that they put this together rose i can smell rose but it's just not it's not overbearing it is even though this this name is signature rose to me the rose is not it's up front and center but it's it's not the rose that i dislike this is absolutely wonderful if you have a chance and here's another thing I, I we all know I normally don't talk about the boxes but this is so nicely done it's right in line with all the rest of the boxes I do say I like it, it has this little oh detail that's got the the Zaharoff logo all the way around it it's really 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 nice it has the plaque it's on the front it's just super nice nicely done the back has got a metallic insert i mean this is really really nice george man you really know how to put out an outstanding product and i gotta say like i said i was really nervous about the rose because i am not rose has to be done a certain way for me to enjoy it for well just not to just enjoy it because i have smelled some old some grandma rose stuff on some older women that it was appropriate and it was wonderful to be around i myself I don't want to smell that way. This does not smell that way. This is absolutely wonderful. You know, I, I, I sound like I'm gushing over this, but to be honest, man, I was so worried about this being something that I wasn't going to like. And it is, it's absolutely outstanding. It's, the rose has kind of got a, as it's drying down, it has a real clean, bright, essence to it this is this is wonderful get a get a sample or pick up a bottle i don't think i have a single george zaharoff product that i don't like and there's a bunch of them right there and this is just as good as actually probably at this point in time is my favorite out of the entire line that i have i have had the pleasure to smell and to own now they did just have george just came out with a line of three fragrances from three influencers reviewers that are on there i wish you guys all the best of luck i will say i'm really interested in one of these days i want to smell siren because i saw the note breakdown for that that looks super interesting and so those two really have my interest peak someday i hope i'll get a chance i wish all three of you gotta cut that out but all three of them, I wish all you guys the best of luck. I saw you guys were in Chicago over the week working. Everything comes with a little hard work, and I'm sure it was a wonderful time. George is an amazing host. I have always been really, really, really felt blessed to have George as my friend, and I wish all of you guys the best of luck. Well, with that being said, I think I'm going to use this as my scent of the day so I get to enjoy the fragrance all the way through, become a little bit more familiar with it. It just keeps getting better and better. So I have high, 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 high hopes for this. Once again, George, thank you, man. I'll say it again. I wish all you guys the very best of luck. And do me a favor. If you haven't before, do all that stuff that all the rest of the YouTubers ask you to do. You know, subscribe and hit the like button and all the rest of the jumble jimble that's around the screen that you're watching. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care, and I'll see you then. Hey everybody, I wanted to stop right here in the middle of the video to thank 
the sponsor of this video and that is you you watch you guys comment and you guys leave thumbs up you guys are the biggest sponsors of the videos because if it wasn't for you guys there wouldn't be any so i want to say thank you for each and every one of you